Jesus. What, are you going to start criticizing my driving, too? <laughs> Between that and you not being able to hold liquor, I was like, strike two. <laughs> man, those shots were weak. Come on, man, chill out with that. I got to pee. I have to pee really bad. How do you use that shit, soldier? Remember who you're talking to. You don't have rank over me anymore? Pull over, I gotta pee. Uh, but I can still drink your ass under the table. Pull over, damn it, I have to pee. Just think about, uh, think about Niagara Falls. That would help. You're a jerk, yeah, man. How's you're, that you're, work out, that Just pull over because you're swerving. I have to pee. <laughs> you're a douchebag sometimes, man. Well, no wonder you don't have any friends. Come on, right on. No wonder I'm your only friend. I'm the only person who can put up with your crap. I'm the only person that works this earth that can put up with your crap, man. Jesus Christ, man. Hey, Do you take your mind off this morning? Look, pull over for two seconds. I have to pee. I will pull over for you. Are you going to sit down when and you, you know pee? Because you sound you. like a little girl. Oh, God. Uh, why is this? Is this bothering oh, you a little bit? Does that hey, make look, you want to? Okay, look. <laughs> okay, it's not that funny. It's not funny. Matter of fact, it's not funny at all. Oh, don't get your panties in a bunch. You need to, you need to come home up. and pull over the car. Okay, yeah, Let me look. Look at all these good trees that are coming by right now. I can pee. I can use this tree right here or this tree right here. Oh, like this tree? It's not funny. <laughs> John! Did I hit him? I, I didn't feel it. Get the hell out of my car! No, my house is right up the road. John, we gotta, we gotta help him. We don't have to do shit. Drive. We do, we gotta help him. Please, please drive! Drive, man, drive. Still no signal, you? Nothing, man. Hey! We got a guy back here who needs medical help. Hey, I need to use your phone. What? You forget about the bloody guy in the back of the car? Happens all the time. People see him on this stretch of road. Who? Brant. My husband. Sorry. First husband. He was killed last year. Hit and run. Wait, last year? Is this a joke? So you're saying what? This guy in my back seat, he's the... I'm saying he picked up a ghost. Bullshit. You people are batshit crazy. Watch it, pal. This has been hard enough on us already. You don't have to go making it any harder. Me? Her husband is dead. I'm her husband now. And you're encouraging her to go on believing. John, stop it. You're being a total dick. So you honestly believe the ghost of your dead husband walks that road and hitches rides from strangers? Not strangers. Assholes. Letting go isn't easy. The dead, 
They tend to linger. I'm over this, Alex. I just want it to end. It's okay. You can put that down, Lon. You don't need to do this. I don't care. I'm ready to do this. You already have. This isn't happening. And you live here, knowing full well that this place is haunted? Yes, ma'am. Do you know how it happened? Yeah. They'd been fighting. Brent and Lana. Brent was walking on the road by himself when the car hit him. And the driver, he just, he just took off. And he lost control of his car, and he ended up wrapping it around a tree. Was the driver killed? Him and his friend both. I myself don't really believe in ghosts, but the people around these parts here, they tell me that they have to relive this over and over and over again. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, right? 